Hello everyone, welcome to Chasing Diecast Cars. In this episode I'm going to show some of my NORAV emergency vehicles. Not all of them, but most of them. As a background I use the NORAV fire station. I'm going to show the box, at least what I can show of it, because it doesn't fit in the screen. So here it says NORAV playset emergency. Was 18 euro, paid 8 for it has three levels, one heliport, one gas station, one car lift, one control tower that's the dimensions of the set without the ramps and one vehicle included unfortunately the vehicle included is a helicopter this one here on top so not really a vehicle but that's fine some of the stickers are letting go on it unfortunately because the uh, underground is not even but anyways let's start with this one this one I bought second hand it's near mint it's a Renault Master that is full metal it has a bed that tilts and a gate that opens only the gate is in the back uh, gate here is plastic the wheels the windows and the headlights and the light bar the rest of it is metal as you can see here on the base Renault Master 2003 model this is a Renault toys so that means that Norif makes these uh, to be sold in the Renault dealerships so it's got plastic inserts for the headlights, the Renault badge and some reflecting tape on the bonnet or hood, a white metal bumper, got a little bit damage here but that's the only damage it has. It's got a okay looking interior, a light bar that is blue so different than uh, the glass from uh, the windows. In the back it's got a metal bumper that is painted white with um, some taillight tempos and the name of the brand and instead of the license plate the name of the model. Very nice piece, very heavy. Then we have a 5-pack now nowadays they only have four packs anymore I think uh, in a way to make it cheaper both for the customer and for uh, Norev I believe so this is an older one this is from 2014 emergency it says so it's actually only has three vehicles in there the other ones are a helicopter that is also included in this set in the background and a plastic motorcycle this is what I paid for them for it a little bit less because it's so old because you know I only started collecting in 2017 so I bought all this older stuff because it was priced down and it was in the stores for a long time already so let's open this up Let's look at the least interesting ones first. So a plastic motorcycle, not very interesting, completely out of scale, but you know it is what it is. Then we've got the helicopter that is the same as the one in the back. Let's take this one, this has the uh, propeller already in working order. It says uh, Sécurité Civile, that means uh, public security. It is nicely done. Let's put that back. And then next up we've got uh, the Renault Master Ambulance. So the same vehicle as that one over there but in a van version. So here it says 
again Renault Master 2003 Oh, it also says Renault Toys here, Norev, but this has a plastic base, not a metal one. These all have plastic wheels, by the way, but they do get plastic insert for the headlights. Again, the Renault badge. This time we get a, I think this is also a part of the metal body, this bumper, that is painted black get the word ambulance in French ambulance again the same interior this is a symbol in France that shows that this is a um, ambulance again a blue light bar on top separate piece this one also has a tow hitch don't know why that is on a ambulance but they use this casting also for fire brigade vehicles and stuff like that so fire brigade sometimes is pulling a trailer so that makes sense these are plastic doors in the back that this left one has a problem opening i'm not going to force it so strange thing you can see seats in the back so this is an interior that is also used for vans apparently that have windows in them because you cannot put a stretcher in there that doesn't make a lot of sense so Norif, all Norif cars have put the typical wheels although these have not been very well made maybe I can Is some some flashing on there Maybe I can get it off my knife, yeah. <laughs> okay, it's a little bit better. So that's that. And we got the police car. This is a Peugeot 308. This seems to have some suspension. It's got the bars in there like uh, Majorette has. They used to belong to the same company, Norev and Majorette. So this says Police National on the bonnet or hood. National Police, plastic inserts for the headlights again. The Peugeot badge, a black plastic piece in the front. Well, it's part of the metal body, but in real life it is plastic like the bumper. Prototypical wheels or rims it says police on the sides a nicely detailed interior very nice a blue light bar again painted tail lights in the back and some information the Peugeot name 308 is the model 17 is the number you have to call to reach the police nationale and again the word police on the back again not a perfect rim here but not as bad as the other one and then lastly we have a fire brigade vehicle this is the Renault Kangoo so also inserts for the headlights reflecting tape in the front the Renault badge a light on top in blue separate piece also this is the French emergency number for the fire department 18 and 112 is the European number for emergencies also prototypical rims the back doors don't open they have some kind of a reflecting tape around it here is a, some space left for the license plate this is the door handle it's nicely detailed the lights are uh, the same of the color as the, of the vehicle so you can see the detail there same sign this side and here it has a sliding door that opens although not very easily 
it's struggling. Yeah, there we go. And no seats in the back of this one, so this one you can actually put some stuff in the back. Also a nicely detailed interior. Then uh, let's go to some 2015 stuff. Let's start with this three pack. 2015. This is what I ended up paying for it. Let's take a look. Maybe you want to see the other side. So in the back some information in all kinds of languages. Sides are just the same. Okay, the other way around. So let's start up with this funny little thing. This is an electric Renault called the Renault Twizy. So this seats two people. So this is the driver's seat that you can see here. And then behind the driver's seat, there's another seat for the passenger. This unfortunately has, has some damage on the mirror from being in the package too long so also prototypical wheels has the word police on the door you should say this has tiny print here that says je roule électrique i drive electric so these doors they hinge open to the front upwards to get in um, these bottom pieces here I believe are optional um, they don't come as standard I think I'm not sure about that in back it says police it has the taillight only one in the middle that's weird I think there's taillights here too but they are not details you can see here this little dent in the metal I think those are the actual taillights And this is maybe just a brake light. So not a lot of detail in the back. Got the Renault badge. Same on the other side. In the front, again, police. Do get plastic inserts for the headlights. Very tiny, the Renault badge. And again, je roule électrique. I drive electric. Very funny little thing. Uh, I, it's the only brand I know that does this. Norf is the only brand I know that does the Renault Twizy. Very original. Lots of fun. Steering wheel is a bit weird. It's almost horizontal. But anyways, cute little model. Then we got another one of these. So we already looked at that, it's exactly, exactly the same, maybe this one slides a little bit easier, no it doesn't, it's as hard as the other one. Then we've got another police car, this is the Renault Megane from 2009. Also plastic base like most of them except for the that one over there. So this is a station wagon, or an estate, or whatever you want to call it. This door opens in the back. So you got painted taillights, the Renault badge, and the model name began. Got a tow hitch, but seems to have sheared off. Yeah. Not much left of it. Prototypical rims, police deco on the side, police nationale. So these are all in French livery if you would wonder. Plastic insert for the headlights, 
Renault badge and again a pretty nice interior Then another vehicle from 2015. This was 249, got 30% off, so ended up paying 174. Nicely packaged. So this is also a Renault Megane from 2008. What was the other one? 2009 okay station wagon was 2009 this hatchback was is 2008 so this is a two door or a three door if you count this one this is from the gendarmerie also french police but a little different than the national police i don't know the difference i must admit they have different colors but that's the only difference i know prototypical rims so in the back we got the painted taillights, we got a reflecting striping in the Renault badge and the word Gendarmerie. On the side the same as the other side, again nice interior. And then we go to 2016. I paid a little more for these. 290. So this is the Dacia Duster from 2010 model. Plastic base, suspension, prototypical rims, again number 18 to call the fire department, the fire brigade, it's got an opening hatch, tow hitch, that is complete this time, plastic inserts for the headlights and the Dacia badge, very nicely detailed. Also again a nice interior. And then the last one here also paid 290 for it from 2016 this one is hard to get out there you go doesn't look like a police car but if you look close and if my camera will focus on it yep there we go you read interceptor highway patrol zero one so again prototypical rims plastic wheels plastic tires i mean this is the Renault rs01 Plastic inserts for the headlights, Renault badge, again Interceptor Highway Patrol, Renault Sport 0101, also on the spoiler or the wing in the back, no taillight tempos, I think these are too difficult to do because of the shape of them, just the Renault badge and the RS that stands for Renault Sport 01 
not very realistic uh, I have never seen this on the French roads when I was chasing for diecast there so this is just a little bit of fantasy by the Renault people uh, the Norf people I mean sorry but would be cool nonetheless to see this chasing a car that is driving too fast so that's it for my review of some of the Norev emergency vehicles I hope you guys enjoyed and hope to see you again next time bye bye